Shador has to get forced to go change his uniform during a pregame situation. Now, y'all going to be like, but, but if he broke a rule, he broke a rule. Look, the scripture says obey the laws of the land. I'm not out here to tell people to break the rules. One of my dogs went to the game. My military buddy went to the Texas Tech's game, and they seen all the theatrics. He told me, bless, there was a little commotion through all the games, but the worst one was at the beginning of the game, and I was like, I seen a lot of the nastiness. I called a lot out. What you talking about, bro? Little bro, what you telling me? He's like, bro, they babied Shador like he was a, a, a kindergarten kid that needed to be done up by his parents, bro. So there's a rule in college football that was instituted in 2020. But the thing about this rule is, it's not really this big thing. It's about branding and, and things like that. You know, college got their own money thing or whatever. It's, it's business. Now, we can say it now. We got NILs going on. Look, before I continue telling you about the updates, smash that like button for a real one right quick. I am DJ Bless One, the best one. You feel me? Don't act like you don't like I Smoke Hip Hop Live. You don't come here to be my friend. You come here to get the information because it's smoking like hot pancakes. I know hot pancakes don't make sense. But, hey, sometimes I don't make sense, but it makes sense. Let's go. So, this new rule being here, but nobody really implements it. A lot of college kids have done what Shador did. What he did was, this is a pregame, ladies and gentlemen. This is not during the game. This is pregame before pregame, where he just goes there, warms up a little bit. The refs come and baby Shador forces him to leave off the field because the new rule implies if you're on the field, you have to have a uniform that has your number on it. But this is warm up. First of all, NCAA, that is the dumbest rules that you guys have put in this college situation atmosphere. And not only that, you don't even really try to implement this rule. You don't try to enforce it. I mean, my bad. You don't really try to enforce the rule. Why all of a sudden y'all trying to enforce the rule to what Shador been doing on every pregame, pre-warmups, bruh? Shador does this every way and everywhere. But now that they were, now they're seven and two, but they were six and two at the time. Now it's something you guys have to police up. Now it's something that you guys have to make this big hoop a lot over. It's a fucking pregame. It's not during the, all right, during the game, that rule makes sense during the game. On the field, have a number. Of course, that's, no, it's Sherlock. We know this already. But a pregame warm-up to overanalyze him and over-police him up is, it's seeming like a particular pattern going on here. It's the same thing during the Colorado State game. You know, the Rams, when they were playing the Buffaloes, I was watching the refs babying Travis Hunter and other players off of every touchdown. Like, don't celebrate, don't celebrate. But not only that, they're physically putting hands on him. But man, I would have, nah, I wouldn't have done that. I would have been dumb to push the refs. That's the end of your career type ish. But you see what I mean? Hey, referees, keep your goddamn stinking hands to yourself. That's how refs be getting their job broke. And dudes like me be eating popcorns, laughing at them type of YouTube videos. I be telling people in the comment sections, why y'all mad this ref got his dome knocked? Refrain your weak tail from putting your hands on these big athletes. They're big for a reason. They go to the gym damn near every day. And they're going to be going there for the rest of their lives because it's addictive. Keep your goddamn hands to yourself. That's what I was looking at that game like, okay, you penalize them for celebrating. But it seems like we're, it's always about us when we celebrate. It's like we're murdering somebody or something. It got to be this big theatrical, oh my gosh, these guys are always celebrating. Oh my, like, shut up. This is entertainment. It's entertainment. Nothing else has become where it's something, you know, like different. It's, it's this God-given thing. Nigga, it's football. It is college football nothing else nothing different but the over polit we already get over analyzed over critiqued we got more haters than we got supporters but they're watching but it's like something is brewing here bro something is about to come and it's gonna make everything look wild bro i'm i'm telling you bro they got some type of scam. I'm going to make a separate video about that, bro. It's a scandal coming through for Colorado because they can't take it. Everything they have prohibited us from doing, 
we keep overachieving. Everything that they implement out there to slow us down, but the progress doesn't get impeded. We go right over them. We don't jump over the hurdle. We go right through that bit. You feel me? Like So it bothers the people who are in these rooms and meetings who have now have strategic plans to get rid of us. Nobody wants to see this Dion thing go good. It's going too great. It's motivating too much melanated brothers to now have a very good reason to coach at the power five, power six, power four, power three, power, those type of levels. No longer, I'm just the defensive coordinator. I'm the analyst. No, I'm the head motherfucking coach. You feel me? I'm the head coach, baby. And it bothers people to see this type of change culturally and everything. Now we're being bombarded because... We're being bombarded on every community on the social level, too. It's not just football. When you go to Colorado, there are multitudes of us living there. And you're going to say I'm exaggerating, but my, my wife's sister lives over there with her mother. They live in Colorado. There's a lot of brothers and sisters who live in Colorado, but we wouldn't know that. I'm one of the people who knew that, so I don't get into that type of conversation. But to see Dion has revolutionized a community as well... That scares some folks, bro. People who are in politics politically, people who are in the Senate, I know it. So many laws and things are going to be changed, but before it gets done, you know the House of Card, how they pay the stripper to trick a politician, sleep with them, but then take pictures or whatever. Now we can bribe them. Something like that is about to happen, bro. But let me fast forward. I can smell it. But to look at this situation of Shador being policed up like that, like he's five years, it was crazy, bro. It's like they, they're going out of their way now. Now you can see the anger in them. You can hear it in the announcer's voice. You know what I'm saying? They can't stand Colorado. You you know it, bro. You can see it in the analysts on TV, the pundits who get to always speak on us. It's like they're angry. So everything they said about us didn't work. So they keep moving the goalposts, finding new angles to over critique us, bro. So now this thing is spreading legs that Shador is a unprofessional quarterback. He goes out of his way to break rules for this dumb incident. Because I read two articles already. I will be printing them out and doing the videos with the edits. That one, I definitely got to do the edit. To pretend Shador is uh, uh, creating criminal acts out here. because <laughs> He's creating criminal acts out here now, y'all. You can't make this up, bro. They move the goalposts, and they move everything around just to get with the get down. But it is what it is, man. DJ Bless One is watching everything. I need you guys to start helping out, man. Go to these comment sections and voice your opinions, man. But the thing is, somebody like me, you know, like how the haters are addicted to come to this platform. Anything that talks Colorado, they click and they watch. I don't click and watch the haters like that. You think I do, but you great people bring me some of these things. And some of these things, they're getting recommended to me, bro. I'm on Google. Google is right. You know how you go to the homepage of Microsoft Edge, the app that's on the phones and Google. The, the first thing they're going to recommend because my name in the algorithm is following Colorado like this. It's going to be Colorado football, maybe even a little Dirk stories, but I get all the updates, all the notifications. So when I see that, it's like, I'm glad I do. So I want y'all to keep sending me things too. I want everybody to know I want to stay on this, bro. I'm not letting it go. We've allowed a lot of things to be sweep under the, I mean, swept under the rug. I will stick up for Shador for this, bro. He's not a rule breaker. This is something he's been doing every game and not one of these refs enforced it. All of a sudden for Texas Tech, you feel me? All of a sudden for them, you enforced it. When we go to Texas Tech, the lamest, st not state, but the lamest university of all time, those people at Texas Tech and all the, we seen all the nastiness at that game, bro. That's one thing we all can relate to. We seen all the nastiest at that game. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed. We out, y'all.